Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Kem. Today, Libra, you guys got Sandpiper Spirit, be playful, number 51, making a six. I think you guys got this last week. I don't know why. I, I know somebody got this last week. I don't know why. I feel like it's you. Um, I'm sorry if this is like a similar message to last week. I kind of feel like it is for some reason, but it might not be. Um, but you guys have love coming in and it's coming in fast. This is the Ace of Wands and it's the ring. So it's definitely some sort of commitment and it's also divine with the seven. And then you have the nine of cups with the king of cups, <laughs> the rider with the house. Something very stable with the house, something very long term. Again, a higher level of commitment coming in. So this is kind of reminding me of Virgo's read because Virgo's read was something about like a manifestation coming in. And it seems like something is coming in for you guys in terms of love. But the, the similar message to Virgo, because Virgo is kind of freaking out about their manifestation coming in. <laughs> and I don't think you guys are freaking out like Virgo. Um, but I am thinking that with be playful, this is the energy that they want you to approach it in. Like they don't want you to take it so seriously. And I think that's the hardest thing because I think that actually, no, it's like, it's not that it's not about taking it seriously. I just think there's a way to approach it. You know, like there's just this way to approach it. Like, um, just because your manifestation comes in doesn't mean again, like you have to, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, just be yourself basically like with the be playful be yourself um i i feel like you don't if you if you think about something as like this is everything i've ever wanted this is coming in this is like a higher level of commitment and in, in my life and i've been manifesting this for so long i feel like that would make anyone anxious that would make anybody nervous you know what i'm saying that just makes every, like just talking about that in that tone makes every like it makes it anxious and, in, and a nervous energy and when i'm getting here is that there's no need for that. It's your manifestation, it comes in. It's similar to Virgo's read, where with be playful, it's like, approach it from a different way. <laughs> approach it from the way of like, um, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like that says a lot about um, how to approach it. Like, wand energy is passionate, wand energy is fun, wand energy, wand energy is fast. And I think that's another thing. Like, I think like, there's a speed in which this is coming in, in which I kind of feel like it's gonna kind of take over. <laughs> um, and not in an unhealthy way, but it's going to take over in a way where um, it's going to add a lot of value to your life. It's going to add a lot of fun to your life and it's going to just add all these things to your life. Um, it's not that your life was missing anything. It's just like it's going to add to it. So again, that's why the energy of be playful is here because it's like as it brings in all these new levels to light to your life, I think it's just something that, you know, you get to have fun with. It's not something that you have to, again, don't do what Virgo's doing, which I feel like Virgo's overthinking it and getting really nervous about it. Um, just be in the energy of like, wow, this is here and embrace it and hold it and just know that it's yours. Um, there's no need. I, I don't feel like it's like Virgo's read though that you're nervous. I feel like it's more of like how serious you're taking it. <laughs> That's the word I say. Like the seriousness of what it is coming in, especially with the ring. Um, I think it's like a very serious tone and it doesn't have to be like that. We have wand energy here and be playful. So yes, although it is a serious thing, there's no need for it to be like <laughs> rigid and shit. Let it flow, you know, like, and if things get a little stuffy in your mind, then I feel like they're saying to go to water. So let's see Libra. So Libra, I feel like there's a warning here. For some of you, you're already like talking to this person and for some of you guys, this person has yet to come in, okay? Now, what I'm getting here is like you guys are coming up as a true pair with the king and queen of air, but in reverse. So I feel like you guys are going to start mirroring each other and reflecting back the energy to each other and it's gonna spiral in a negative way. Um, if you're sitting in this energy or if they're sitting in this energy. So it's kind of like this person, I'm getting like, 
there could be a lot of miscommunication between you two. Like you guys don't say what you really need to say in the time that it needs to be said. Um, or you guys talk, like, that's what I'm getting. Like, there's just not enough communication between the two of you. Um, and I'm getting that when you guys do conversate, you're still not really saying what's important. So I feel like for whoever this is, the only way that this can, like, the warning that I'm getting here is that this will be a missed opportunity. Like, this is close to being a missed opportunity for some of you guys. Um, if you're already speaking to this person, and f like, and, and the reason that this is going to be a missed opportunity with a soulmate is because of the way that you guys are, like, approaching one another. I feel like there's a rigidity with one another um, about this relationship in, in general. Like, you two cannot communicate what you guys need to one another. You guys are not, like, it's kind of like one person wants this, maybe a high-level commitment. One person is not ready for it. Like, there's no talking about it. Um, I think I think not talking about things would literally be the reason why I wouldn't be able to be with someone. Because at least, like, if you talk about something, um, you know, you get it off the, your chest and you put it all on the table and then you deal with it and that's it. Um, another thing I'm getting is, like, maybe the way that you guys talk to one another is just, like, not working, right? But I am really getting this mirroring where it's, like, one person says this and then the other person acts immature and says that and there's kind of like this like back and forth of like immaturity i'd want to say um and i feel like that's kind of what's going on here for some of you so again some of you guys are not communicating enough some of you guys communicate and you're not saying anything really and then others of you like you're being a little bit immature um and that's what i'm getting so like i'm getting a warning like this will be a missed opportunity because instead of you guys having kind of like fun with one another and enjoying one another you're not so it's kind of like this great gift is given to you guys and then you guys like don't know how to act with it like you guys just don't know how to get it together that's what i'm getting um for whoever this is it's like you have to get it together because again they're warning you this is a chance at the ton of cups but i see again it could be a missed opportunity with this relationship here we have the ten of cups the two of cups the king of cups the nine of cups we have a lot of cup energy so the only thing that can like uh, like another thing i'm getting is like it it doesn't it's like if you're talking to this person now then communication is like the problem and if like you're not talking to this person and this is someone coming in what i get is like if there is if this is a past person, then the past needs to be talked about and it shouldn't be a block. It should be something that like puts you guys closer together. Um, but again, communication for the two of you, if you guys don't communicate like how you feel about like the past and what happened, that could also be a block. So again, this whole read to me screams like communication and like not, not just talking, but like effective communication, right? Like you don't want to, again, it's like saying something without saying anything at the same time. Like like oh having a conversation be like oh what'd you do today nothing you nothing oh okay like what kind of that's not a conversation maybe a lot of you guys need to start um like putting the phone into the equation like i don't know if i need to say that to some of you guys but it's like if you want a serious like relationship um then i feel like talking on the phone is like important and like if you don't want to make time for this person or if you don't want to talk to them on the phone then like i don't even know what we're doing here this reading so um i feel like that's just like a key thing like talking on the phone if you're you're not near one another um or if like again like talking on the phone <laughs> i just get that like talking on the phone like if you really want to be with somebody you're gonna talk to them you're gonna want to talk to them um and it doesn't matter how busy your life gets you're gonna want to communicate with them but i see somebody here like really struggling with communication and i feel like that and i don't feel like there's not a like love here between the two people i just feel like somebody here struggles and i don't know if it's the masculine or the feminine but then i see like a marrying going on here so again if this is a past person coming in then you have to talk about the past if this is a new person coming in then i feel like um this isn't to take things so seriously this is to be a little bit more in like the wand energy because this whole side is about wands and this whole side is about swords so i feel like it's more about like action more about like doing things together more about like making the phone call more about like opening up lines of communication and then if this is someone you're talking to right now um the only way that i can see like to save this is to like again try 
um, to really communicate with this person. I would give this person like a one last effort, you know, like a last effort to be with, to, to talk things through. So I would start calling this person. I would start to try to like talk to them more and more. And if they seem to be getting pushed away and they seem like they don't really want to talk, then I would literally drop this. That's literally my advice. Like if you see that like the person that you want to be with is not communicating with you and is not giving you like 100% in attention or if you call them on the phone, they don't pick up or they find it weird that you're calling them. And again, like the phone is just a foreign object to them. They don't use it to like talk on the phone, especially with someone that they want to be with. Then I would just like I would dead this person. So again, I'm getting a lot of scenarios for you guys, but it's like if you guys want to talk to one another, if you guys want to show each other you care, then you're going to communicate. And if you're if you if you're not gonna talk about the past, that's gonna be an issue here. So any any way I look at this reading, it's like you have to communicate. You have to communicate. You have to communicate. I think that somebody's gonna someone's gonna figure this out way too late. And I feel like it's the masculine with the tower and the ton of cups because we have the ton of cups here and the ton of cups here. So I see the masculine energy being like, oh shit. Um, like I think I see the feminine maybe like giving this relationship one last effort, calling, communicating, trying to be like really like open about speaking and feelings and shit like that and i see a masculine that might be a little bit like um not into it and i see the feminine moving on so i'm getting a lot of things with this reading i'm sorry it's like all over the place if you're talking to this person right now and they're not giving you any effort i'm getting that you're going to move on um that's what i'm getting for some of you guys like uh, i feel like a lot of you guys want a higher level of commitment and if this person isn't giving it to you, you're just going to move on. That's what I'm getting here. Like, oh, you don't want this level of communication that I'm giving you. Oh, like you don't want, the, like I'm making more of an effort because I'm trying to save this. Um, and you don't like, you know, you're not picking up my phone or you think it's weird that I'm calling you or that I'm trying so hard. Okay. Like the, it's like a kind of like a, a last effort. Um, and I'm getting for the feminine that like the feminine doesn't care. Like the feminine is going to go for it. And I, I feel like it's the feminine that's going to really try because we have the hangman with the queen of swords. So it's like the feminine is going to be like, you know what? Maybe I'm the one being immature. Maybe I'm the one like, you know, marrying them. Let me try. They try and then with the Ten of Wands, I feel like they're like, you know what, fuck this. <laughs> um, I'm done with this with the Ten of Swords in reverse. They go off with the Empress and Queen of Point energy towards a new love to manifest something different, something new. So I'm getting either way, like the point of this is to communicate. If this is someone coming in again from the past, communicating about the past is important. Um, and if this is a new person coming in, then I feel like the energy is to just be playful. The energy is just to be stable and playful. I am, I don't see, I, I really see this being an issue for somebody who's like already talking to somebody right now. That's what I'm kind of getting now. It's like, if you're talking to somebody now and they're not necessarily being like what you need them to be, I see uh, Libra moving on, like point blank. Like I just see Libra being like, you know what, I don't need this shit. Um, with the Empress and the Queen of Points, like I'm stable without you, I don't need this. <laughs> Um, so for everybody, this is like different, but this is like, if you want to make something work with somebody, then you communicate that. Like a, a lot of you guys maybe want to work something out with a person or get into a high level of commitment and you're having a hard time communicating that. And I'm seeing here again, like if all, all it takes is communication, being playful, like, um, again, if you want to get into a higher level of commitment, like that's something else here. Like, let's just say you're talking to someone you want to get into a higher level of commitment. Um, this is just, again, communicating that communicating your needs, communicating your desires, and then seeing this person reciprocates. And if they don't, I see like Libra just moving on. Because like, again, there's no time to waste here. I feel like with the start and ton of pencils, like I'm looking for something and I'm, I'm I, again, it's not about being serious or not important. It's just about like, you know, I'm looking for something in particular and I know what I want and I just don't need to waste my time. So this reading, I guess, is like really mostly about not wasting your time. Again, with anyone, new, past, or like present, it's just like, okay, like, um, you know, if, if I need to be more communicative with you, I'll do it. And if you're not going to respond, then I'm out. That's kind of what I'm getting with this read. I'm also getting two things with this masculine. I feel like for some of you guys, the Tower and the Ten of Cups, the, some of the masculines are going to be like, oh my God, like, Libra wants this with me and I can't believe that. Like, I can't believe that Libra would want this with me. I'm so excited and there's like this um, opportunity for you two to work together. And for others of you guys, I'm gonna see like this person kind of being like, why is Libra acting weird? Like, why is Libra being like this? Um, and this kind of pushes this person further away. And then as soon as like you leave or you get out of this person's life, I feel like that's when this person kind of realizes like, oh wow, like Libra's leaving. So again, I'm getting so many things for you guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, and I've never gotten like 
10 storylines we're reading, but that's literally what I'm getting here. But I feel like the energy for you in particular, Libra, like no matter what scenario you're going through, is just to be communicative about what you want, what you need at this time. This is not a time to like waste time. You know what I mean? This is not a time to like um, give up anything that you need for anybody else. This is just kind of like going for what you need. And if this person wants to be a part of your life, they're going to be a part of it. But again, um, with the be playful energy, I don't think like you're being like aggressive about it. I think you're just kind of being like realistic. You know what I mean? It's like, well, realistically, it's just like you're not wanting what I want. So why, why, why would we bother? You know what I mean? Um, it's kind of like talking to somebody who's like, ah, I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids. Um, and you want to get married and you want to have kids. It's kind of like, okay, like I, I have no problem talking to you. Like we can be friends, but like we don't want the same thing. So like, what's the point? You know what I mean? And it's not about it being a serious thing. It's just about it being realistic. Like, realistically, we don't want the same thing, so I'm moving forward. Um, or it's like, you know, somebody wants a higher level of commitment and another person doesn't. It, then it's like, okay, that solves our issue right away. We don't even need to, like, bother um, <laughs> trying. Um, we both don't even want the same things. You know what I mean? So this is about being, like, very realistic about what your needs are. And I feel like, again, if, if you're talking to somebody now and you're not being realistic about what you want and you're kind of just avoiding conversations, then you're wasting time. So I, I feel like this is about not wasting any time kind of just getting your shit together, being realistic about what you need and want, talking about it. And again, if this person doesn't, isn't about it, it's just like moving forward. That's why I'm getting Libra, let's pull advice. Yeah, Libra, I knew that Thecla was gonna come out. I was like, this, this kind of sounds like Thecla to me. Because again, um, it's kind of like, stepping into your power in a sense because that was the prophetess of true power i call back my power from all times and all places i am my own so this is like if a relationship has gotten kind of stagnant or dumb in a sense where it's like the two of you are not even talking on the phone the two of you aren't really being communicative about what you want or the two of you kind of like don't even want the same things this is like about somebody who's just like you know i'm gonna start heading in a different direction i'm wasting my time do you know what i mean so i just feel like this is a very like I'm getting, I feel like Libra is gaining their power back because it's like, I don't need to waste my time with somebody who doesn't want the same things as me. And I feel like uh, one of you is like, again, you might be talking to somebody that doesn't want the same things as you and you're going to figure that out and you're going to move forward um, in a new direction. And for some of you guys, you're going to meet with a past person and this could even be like, you know, you guys talk about the past and you guys can't agree on like what happened in the past, but this is about communicating like how you guys feel and then okay seeing if like you can work out the fact that you have different perspectives and still be together or if this is like something that's going to break you guys up forever you know what i mean like this is all about communication on this read and this is something that i feel like you should excel in libra because it's like i mean you are an air sign so i know it's hard like now that's like giving you more pressure it's like oh great i'm an air sign i'm supposed to be like the leader here but i just feel like it's not about being a leader it's more about being in your power and when you're in your power you're like you know what um <laughs> um like i just want to have a conversation about this and like i just want to you know see wh wh where your head is at and i just want to kind of you know lay out how i feel and then you know you guys are gonna either agree or disagree Yeah, see, for some of you guys, I feel like new romance is coming in. And they're telling you, like, again, to just be yourself, to be communicative, to be playful, to, like, enjoy yourself. For others of you, I feel like you're kind of getting over someone from the past. Or, like, you're, you're talking to someone and you might, like, just kind of cut them out of your life. Because this is someone, not really cut, but just kind of, like, move away from them. Because it's like, again, you don't want the same things. Either way, um, with be playful, it's like, don't stress, like, this person not being around in your life or you moving away from them because new romance is coming so this is kind of like don't um what's the word when they say like don't don't like lower your standards or just kind of like accept anything from anyone because i see here like if you wanted somebody new to come in then romance would come in like if you were if you were moving away from somebody who didn't want the same things as you and then you tried to find new love, I see like romance is already around the corner for you. So again, this is like more in terms of like moving towards your alignment and what's best for you. And like as you move towards what you're aligned to, like I want commitment, I want a stable relationship, that's the things that I want. It's like as you move towards that, that's what's going to find you. Do you know what I'm saying? 
So again, if you have to take a stand against somebody, I see like you you can. If you want to have a conversation about a relationship and like where it's going, I feel like this is the time, guys. <laughs> then we have intelligence here with the crow. Yeah, I, I feel like there's just not a time to kind of have to accept anybody that's not like the true divine masculine. If you're dealing with a distorted masculine, um, someone, again, who doesn't want to communicate, who doesn't really care what you have to say, then you already know like this isn't somebody you should be dealing with. Or if this is someone that you can't say like, yeah, I want a higher level of commitment, and this is somebody who kind of like tries to talk their way out of it, again, not a true divine masculine. So I just see here like the true divine masculine will be really evident for like whoever is here it's gonna be so evident once you start speaking to them you know like oh i want to talk about a relationship you know and they kind of don't want to talk about it like you already know that this isn't someone that you could like build a future with and you're gonna leave do you know what i'm saying this is all about time to like kind of sweet out who is the true divine masculine that's why i'm getting with this read like who is the true divine masculine am i with a masculine a true like did my masculine arm right with a distorted masculine i figure that out and i move forward is this person coming in a true masculine or distorted one you know like does this person want commitment with me or do they not so i kind of am getting here that's like it's you libra who kind of is pushing for commitment and it's like if you are pushing for that then that's what's going to go find you once you let this person go and if you this is a person coming in and you you know have a conversation with them this is how you're going to figure out if like you guys are on the same page so that's what I'm getting, Libra. <laughs> be clear about what you want. Step into your power. Don't be ashamed to like express what you want. I feel like you want a high level of commitment. So again, that's something that you need to communicate. And if this person doesn't want that with you, then I just feel like it's time to move on. So that's what I'm getting. I love you. I hope this helps. And I'll see you next time. Bye.